Hello, my name is Odi and we are going to play the park. In a dark room wearing headphones, it deals with subject matter that may be disturbing to some players. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Mr. Bear. Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. It looks decent. So this game is a spin-off of Secret World. Yeah, I never tried the Secret World. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. Hey, mister! What? Losing my conscience. Lorraine, Lorraine, don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Well, this is how it starts. Callum, where are you going? Over here. Callum, I told you to wait in the car. Over here. Atlantic Island Park. When I first came to visit Solomon Island, I feel I fell deeply in love with this natural beauty, it's a scenic place, and created many of my best memories here. Commercial. Uh, this is probably the best park in the world. There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, Anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back <coughs> inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employee, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. Fuck is going on? Caleb's not here.
Atlantic Island Park. What's this big map? Too dark. I'm not going in there without a flashlight. Really? Let's find a flashlight. I think this belongs to Calm. My god, he lost his shoe. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. <laughs> Worst in class, Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will die a useless love. <laughs> What is this about? Whatever Archie Henderson did to the local, just the mention of his name had people slamming doors and locking shutters from the moment I arrived on the island. My lawyers had arranged everything in advance, but... Yeah, it's not interesting. Find a flashlight, come on. Callum, stay where you are. Stupid kid. Stupid idiot kid. Get on. Yeah, we are going to get the right of our lives. And his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband, we will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, my wife, I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. Yeah, we all know the story. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into what the, the woods. What the fuck? When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. Shut the motherfucking chipmunk. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. 
Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. I don't like that sound. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. Yeah. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Bad the witch. Oh, little mouse, who is nibbling at my house? An old Alan, woman where did you emerged go? from the house, Alan, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to you. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back. For the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside. The old woman urged, and the children, still licking Come their on. sweets, followed. Whoa! Once in the fuck? House, the old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful. The old witch told Gretel, Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, fearing the day that the witch would eat him. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool, the old witch said. The opening is here. And she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove. And the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. And then, because even children can't oh. survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking Hansel and Gretel. Two cannibal kids. What the fuck? Okay, nothing happened. Wanna get off?
Swans, gingerbread, and chocolate. Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest, the birds, the old witch, even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy, looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Yeah, but Hansel and Gretel in this story end up cannibals. Another accident. This place. Despite the constant interruptions to work, Athletic Island Park will be opening on time. The governor is booked to cut the ribbon, so the only real question is whether we will have any customers. I'm not truly worried. Uh, I will not make his mistakes very soon. I will know if this has been for nothing. Look, he's a fucking teddy bear. We can't reach the teddy bear. Has something in his eye. A knife. Yeah, teddy bear just got fucked in the eye. Still haven't found flashlight. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It'd make me dizzy. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered. And as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. I thought of working in the park for some would be a lot of fun, but the end of season here really drags. There aren't that many tourists around and so most of the staff spend their days standing around gossiping and most of that gossip is about Chad. I mean Steve. See? Even I'm starting to call him Chad and I went to school with the guy. It's that goddamn so the fuck? Shit. 
Let's see what's here. Constant crashes in 80s music. I guess it floats someone's boat. Has lights on. Accident report. Brief description of the accident or incident during the transport of the bumper. You can see condition being corrected. Yes, no. What the fuck? Whoa! What? the fuck out of here go on bitch the fuck is that that fucking car should we go here or there Destroy this way them. They have sent an inspector to investigate the accidents at the park. I given him grand tour and spoken about all of our safety upgrades. But he seems unconvinced. In this case the park itself is working against me. This doorman has become more and more intractable. The more time he spends in the park, I offer to pay for his stay in the overlook hotel this is a disaster for now to make calls. Let's go at that car. So what's that all about? It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. I don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word, just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, Yes, Sheriff.
what's here? So they are going to close this place down. Doesn't surprise me. Inspector comments after touring the park, riding the rides and viewing the startling number of visitors after here in the park. It is this inspector's opinion that Atlantic Island Park should be shut down until Nathaniel Winter complies with all safety regulations. They already died. A lot of people died here. Get oh, this thing. Everything's so rusty. People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. Yeah. Sad story. What the fuck? What's that? There's no one here. Let's go to the next one. Light. Fucking shit. The first wheel stopped. It's not good.
Yeah, kind of boring until now. Maybe we'll see something interesting at the mountain roost. Cannot go. Why didn't I look before? Fucking shit. What is this about? Telling you. Winter billionaire mogul announced his intention to build an amusement park on the fog shrouded shores of Solomon Island off the coast of New England. There were sniggers, sniggers, sniggers up and down Wall Street. Winter, who made his fortune through a series of investments, which is mine, Blue Ridge mine. So there is a mine. Let's just head back to amusement park. With no amusement in it. What's this supposed to be? the octopus can I get on the octopus let's try I can't get on while it's moving I can't get on while it's moving. Come on. Rusty old piece of shit park. What the fuck? Oh shit! Stop! Okay, stopping. Frustrated by the fact that the plan seemed incomplete. I know as well as anybody that the rules of the game can be changed with enough money. But no matter how much money talks, 
It can conjure up missing plans from thin air. I've tried contacting the organization who sold me these plans and they are stonewalling me. Every contact that I had, every meeting place that I have, had watched a sweat bear. I'm sinking feeling, I have a sinking feeling that I've been swindled. Cannot go this way. I'll take that lantern. Then report. Oh, I need a fucking flashlight. Okay, so I'm gonna play the second part soon. See you in the next part.